Alright, let's get drawing today. Today I want to talk to you guys about positive and negative space. Now you guys might have seen this optical illusion before. It's kind of a fun way to talk about positive and negative space. Now, if you look at this, you'll see one of two things. You'll either see two faces looking at each other or a vase. And the reason your mind can see one or both of these things is because it's trying to interpret which is the positive space and which is the negative space. Now, to explain this a little better, let me show you this picture a different way. Let's say we're starting with a blank white piece of paper. The white paper is our negative space. And we want to add an object to our drawing or our artwork. So we are going to add a black vase. The black vase is our positive space. The positive space is the image that is being drawn. The negative space is the area in the artwork that is around it. Now, let's say you're not seeing the vase and you're seeing the faces instead. The way your brain is seeing that is it's like you have a black piece of paper. And this is your black negative space. And then you wanted to add some faces, some white positive space faces to your artwork. And the white is your positive space, so you see the faces, and the black is your negative space, so that's just the background and you don't see the vase. But your mind can kind of play tricks on you and it can switch from seeing either the positive space as being the vase or the positive space as being the faces. So it's kind of a fun way to play around with that. So we're gonna be doing some drawing exercises that help us see the negative space around what we are drawing, which will help you draw better pictures. So here is an example of what we're gonna be doing. So this is a drawing of a goat and, or a bighorn sheep. I'm not quite sure which. I think it might be a bighorn sheep actually. So the bighorn sheep is our positive space and then it just has kind of a blank background, blank white paper for its negative space. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at a picture and instead of drawing the positive space, we're only gonna fill in the negative space and we're gonna fill that in black. So this is an example of what it would look like for this picture right here. So they just colored in the background black. We are gonna do this with this picture of a chair that I have here. It's a nice black chair and we're going to be just coloring on a different piece of paper what the negative space would look like for this chair. Now I'm not worried about it looking super accurate. I just want to get my brain in the mode of looking at the background more than looking at the foreground or positive space. So I'm gonna get a darker colored pencil. This is the darkest black I have, it's a 6B. And I'm going to just really quickly, in like a minute or two, fill in and block out the negative space. It's not gonna look perfect. I'm just doing this as quickly as I can to get as a warm up exercise. And let's just get started and see how it goes. So one part that's negative space is this shape right here. So I'm gonna start with that shape. Remembering to look at my picture that I'm drawing as much as I'm looking at the picture that I, uh, the picture I'm drawing from as much as the picture that I am drawing on. And then I'm gonna add some of the shapes inside the chair up here. And remember, I'm not drawing the black part of the chair, I'm drawing the white around the chair. All right, and there is my negative space warm-up exercise. Now, it doesn't look like a perfect chair, but it's probably a better chair than if I had tried to draw just straight looking at the positive space. You'll see I made a few mistakes, like see this angle should probably be a little bit more like this, and that's okay, and this got a little thin, and it should be thicker. I would come in with an eraser and fix it if I wanted to keep working on this as a finished piece. But this is just a warm-up exercise to get my brain looking at the negative space instead of the positive space while drawing, which will really help you out while you're drawing some more fancy pictures later. So do this exercise with whatever pictures you want. You can look at an actual chair instead of a picture of a chair. You can draw the spaces in between your fingers, kind of like we did with our blind contour drawing with our hands. You can pretty much do this with any picture that you have. 
and just play around, do this a bunch of times, and then you'll be ready to start getting into some more complex drawing after you do these warm-ups. I hope you had fun. Bye.